Hello and welcome to the Romero Threads YouTube page. In today's video, we are working on patches. We are going to embroider these patches from beginning to end, okay? So I have our twill, okay? We have our adhesive, okay? We have our Mighty Hoop. This is the 10 by 19. This is, as you can see, this is huge. Okay, huge, huge, perfect for this type of project. Also for the back of jackets or anything where you're going to put a lot of stitches and it's gonna be big. Okay, so I got the GoPro here to give you a perfect bird's eye view of this project from beginning to end. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get to the uh, GoPro and let's begin this project. Okay, so material wise is very, very basic. Okay, that's the cool thing about patches is you can be very basic when it comes to patches, okay? So our base, okay? Our fabric that is going to hold our stitches is our old fashioned twill, okay? You can never go wrong with twill. And this is twill from Twill USA. Okay, it is uncoated. Okay, we get it uncoated, so we do all the coating part all the way towards the end, okay? We have our cutaway, okay? That's going to help our twill be nice and tight, nice and firm. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some 505 temporary adhesive spray on top of my cutaway. Okay, and I always, every time I use this spray, I always use this packing paper just, to, just so it doesn't get all over the place. All right, that's just gonna hold our fabric nice and, nice and solid, okay? Let's go ahead and set up our hoop, all right. Okay, so big tab, we have our big tab out here, okay. Let's put our fabric over it, okay. Nice and center. Okay, this tab here, you wanna make sure this tab is facing away from the big tab up here. All right, once we're ready to go, just lock it down. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's take it to the machine. Okay, so we are now on the machine. As you can see, I'm on super wide mode here, okay? So this is, this hoop is literally going from one side. So it's from one side of the notch back here all the way to the last one on the other side, okay? So this is a pretty big hoop. Okay, so I have this design to perfectly fit this. So when I trace it, you can see, okay. Look at that. So it's right on the edge. Okay, so We are good to go. Let's go ahead and let's push start. Okay, we are going to use the power of fast forward and quickly stitch out these patches. This was a total of 190,000 stitches and it took about four to five hours to complete. Our next three steps are going to include adding an adhesive backing, cutting and smoothing out the patch, and applying the patch onto a polo shirt. Okay, while we're waiting for this project to finish up, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's continue working on these patches. Okay, we are now off the embroidery machine. Now, take, we could take off our hoops, and as you can see, look at that. We have good details. So 
right. We're looking good. Cutaway and versus tearaway. Okay, usually a big question regarding patches. Okay, both can be used. Okay, it's just a matter of preference when it comes time for uh, how thick you want your patch to be. So on this one, I wanted it to be a little thicker than usual. Okay, so that's why I added the cutaway. And I just wanted it a little bit more stability on our patches, okay? So we're gonna have the twill cutaway and the adhesive on our twill, so it's gonna be nice and firm. Okay, so I went ahead and I trimmed our fabric a bit. Okay, and now I'm just cleaning the back sides to prepare for our heat press. Okay, first you want the pillow. Okay, so you want a nice soft bed for our stitches to rest on. So as you can see, we don't have the whole patch on our heat press. So we're gonna do it in two passes. Do a quick, okay, five seconds just to warm up. Just to warm up our fabric, okay. Next, remember shiny side down, touching our threads, okay. Make sure that pillow's nice and firm down there. Okay, Teflon sheet to protect our equipment. Okay, now we push in. So it's set for 10 seconds. Okay, now, Usually what you could do also, you could cut them in pieces, okay? And stack them up and heat press them. Different pieces, all right? But we're good. Okay, so what I wanna do, just cut a straight line going all the way down. Right across, okay? And I'll give you a secret right now. When you're making these patches, what I actually did, I added a straight line going around my border. Okay, you can't see it, but I have a black thread, a single black, a single black thread going around making a circle. Okay, so it's kind of, it makes it fail proof. So I won't touch these white satin stitches. All right, so look at that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to add this patch onto a polo shirt. Okay, so here's a tip here. We have our hot knife. Okay, just a regular, nothing special. It's probably $15 in Amazon. Okay, now if you're gonna hand cut them, okay, you can get some fraying. So just to kind of eliminate that fray, you wanna just now our patch. It's ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna put it on a uh, polo. So let's go ahead and set it up to put it on a polo. Okay, so we have our polo shirt ready to go. Okay, so we have our polo nicely laid down. Okay, all we're gonna do is warm it up. Okay, now, if you wanna be 100% sure that you're perfectly centered, okay, you could just use whatever tools you have. Okay, large or large. Should be here, just a quick little dot. Let's me know. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, I'm actually gonna use the bigger, that's too big. Okay. 
Okay. Everything is ready, lined up. Make sure you add your Teflon sheet just to protect your equipment. Okay, our patch is locked in. Okay, now you wanna make sure you let this polo shirt rest for at least a day, okay? Okay, you want, you want this glue and this adhesive to fully lock in. Okay, it's been a couple hours now and we've let our shirt kinda cool down a bit. And look at that, it is completely adhered onto this shirt okay so we are good get that okay so it looks very solid here on this polo shirt okay so we're actually going to make 12 of these polo shirts okay so this is perfect also for sports soccer okay football basketball okay one last tip okay I know we talked about the heat knife but if you don't have a heat knife all right the most basic old-school way to clean your edges also is of course the lighter okay so with the lighter very easy so we've already I just went ahead and cut all of our patches I'm making 12 polo shirts but I have three extra ones you know just in case but look with the lighter you could always just hit the edges also okay it leaves it very clean very easy probably like six spins you should be good okay look at that let's find this one this one has a little fuzzies on the sides look at that just instant instant goes away okay all right so there you go today we talked about how to make patches and adhere it onto your garment okay so if you have any questions whatsoever leave them down below and like always like subscribe and do all that good stuff right till the next time peace out